I'm gonna be on set today, so that means I need to do my makeup. And not only that, but it needs to last. Probably a full 12 hours or more. So watch me do my makeup for a look that will last and withhold the test of time. First, I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows with the Benefit Eye Pen Pencil, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm just gonna lightly kind of fill them in. I just had microblading done. I just wanna make sure that they're even right now. Yes, they're healing. No, I should not be putting on makeup, but it is what it is. Now, if you want your makeup to last, you need to work with a good base. So I'm gonna be using Milk Hydro, and I'm just going to lightly tap a little bit of it all over my face using my fingers. Now, don't rub this in because it can get a little peely when you do. So I'm just gonna lightly just pat it in all over my face. Now, once that dries down, I'm gonna go in with a little setting powder. This is Sweet Honey by Size One. I'm just gonna be lightly tapping this all over my face just to give me a good base. I tend to get really oily, so when I do this, I don't end up oily like hour two on set. Next, I'm gonna spray with a setting spray. This is gonna be Urban Decay All Nighter. And just let it dry down. Now that my setting spray is dry, I'm ready to go in and actually apply makeup. So I'm gonna start off with a foundation. This is the Lancome, the 460 Suede W. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand, not this much. And then I'm gonna work this in to the actual back of my hand with my brush. It just makes for a smoother application. Then I'm gonna start just pressing this in. I like to start at the bottom of my face where I tend to need the most coverage. Um, sometimes I get acne breakouts um, and there's still a little bit of scarring left, but not a whole lot anymore. Once I get that all worked in with a brush, I like to go back in with a damp beauty blender and just kind of even everything out. Um, it gives a more skin-like appearance when I do this and I definitely don't want to be showing any streaks or any, you know, missing spots <laughs> on set. Once that's done, I go in with just a little bit of concealer. This is Tarte Double Duty Beauty, um, the Shape Tape, and this is in the color 53 in Deep. I just go, you know, underneath my eyes just a little bit. Um, this is more so to match my skin tone, just to give me a little extra coverage under the eye area, and I just blend that in uh, with my beauty, beauty blender, sorry. Next, I'm gonna do my contour with a Fenty Beauty uh, matchstick and espresso. I'm just gonna put it like right below my cheekbones, right at my temples. And then try to get this jawline a little bit cause I like to look snatched. Then I'm gonna use uh, this brush to kind of blend it all in just to warm up my face and give me a little contour. Next, I'm gonna go in with the same brand of concealer, just in a different shade, 44H. And I'm just gonna kind of lighten up a few areas on my face, mainly the corners of my eyes, the outside of my eyes, you know, a little spot in my forehead here and here. around my nose a little bit. And here's the secret for a great highlight. Use a small brush. It gives you much more control and the more you can keep the highlight in its place, the better it looks, the more dramatic it looks, which is kind of important when you're on camera. You want that snatched look. The key is to just blend out the edges. Like I know this looks crazy right now, but I promise you stay with me and it's gonna turn into something amazing. Now that I've got that pretty much blended out, I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender again, just to kinda, you know, make sure that it's all blended in really well and that there's a seamless transition of color. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite bronzer, 
don't laugh at me, but this has been used to hell. Okay, it's Mocha Mommy uh, Sunstalker by Fenty Beauty. I'm just gonna lightly put this over my temples, over places where I kind of want to marry the color, a little bit on my nose and around my hairline. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of brush from this color palette. I'm gonna be using this one right here. And I'm just gonna get right up in this area here, right underneath the eye and at the top of my cheekbones and up into my temple, just a little, just a little bit and kind of blend it in. Next, we're gonna say hello to our setting powder again, same shade, same brand. Except this time, I'm gonna be setting all the areas that I highlighted, okay? So right underneath the eye. Right around the nose and my chin and at my forehead. And I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't wanna, you know, put a whole bunch on. I'm not gonna like brush away the excess or anything like that. I'm just lightly pressing it in to those areas because I tend to get very oily around this area and I definitely don't want to be looking like an oil slick 10 hours later. While that's setting, I'm about to go in back with the same bronzer and this time I'm going to focus on my eye area. I don't want a whole bunch of just loud, you know, eyeshadow or anything like that. I just want a little bit of color up there. <laughs> so we're just going to hit it just a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to bring it down my nose a bit. I don't really do a whole full nose contour. I, I like my nose. <laughs> uh, but I just want to just add a little dimension to it. Next, I'm going to go in with just a little bit of highlight. And I'm going to focus on the top and underneath my brow, top of my cheekbone, underneath my brow, on both sides. A little bit at the center and down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and just a little bit on my forehead where the light would catch. Now here is the most important part of like the whole routine. Like honestly, without this step, all of this is for nothing because I'm gonna be a greasy mess by the time I get there, let alone by the time the whole shoot is over, okay? So I'm gonna go in with the one size on till dawn, okay? This is literally the secret weapon. Now, while that's dry, I'm gonna hit myself with just a little bit of lip gloss. I don't wanna do a bunch of dramatic lipstick until I get on set, if that's an option. But for now, this will just finish my look. And here is the finished look underneath my ring light. Again, I'm not a professional, okay? I'm just trying to, I'm just a girl. And here is the finished look underneath my ring light. Again, I'm not a professional. I'm just a girl trying to make sure I don't look like an oil slick on camera. If you got any tips or tricks for me, definitely leave those in the comments. I could use all the help that I could get.